Hello guys and welcome back to another video of me that Indian guy. Today's video is going to be just me and the camera. No script, no bullet points, no nothing. This is something I personally want to share from my past experiences. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click that red button below. That way you can get notified for any upcoming videos. So the topic for today's video is safety in the United States. Now safety is a topic that is being debated a lot in news considering a lot of incidents happening in the past few months in the US. Now let me share from my own personal experience how do I feel as a student in the US when it comes to safety. Now I'm not going to say that safety is totally not an issue and it's completely fine. Yes safety is a, is a part of the problem in living in the US because the main reason being how spread out the U.S. is. So the population density is very, very low. So because of that, in a lot of cities, when you walk on the street, you're the only person who's walking on the street for like a mile. And that makes you vulnerable to bad things happening around. In this video, I don't want to share a perspective on which cities are bad, which cities are good, what is... I don't think I don't think that should be a deciding factor when it comes to picking a university because if you take simple measures such as walking in a group or if you have a car just parking in a well-lit spot or things like that, you'll be, you'll be safe. I haven't had any issues in the past two years, but that does not say that I wasn't scared in the past two years. There have been multiple times when I was walking alone on the street, which is a big mistake, and I got scared. Now, here are some of the things you should do to maximize your safety while you're a student in the U.S. Number one, avoid walking alone at night if possible. You might be tempted to walk out of your apartment community and go to that shop which is half a mile away and walk there. But it might not be worth it considering the area your apartment complex is in. If there are not that many people walking or if it's kind of a rundown area. The best way to figure out if the area is safe or not to walk alone at night is to ask people who have previously lived there and they'll give you a better answer about it. In general, for most parts, I do not walk alone after sunset. Let's say you took all the measures but there was an emergency and you had to walk alone at night. And now you have encountered someone who is trying to mug you. Mugging is just a term used to someone uh, robbing you with a knife or a gun. Listen to me very carefully. If someone is mugging you and if they ask for your phone, your wallet, your passport, anything, give it to them. Do not argue. Do not try to defend. Do not ask if you can keep your driver's license, your credit card. Even if it's your passport, if that's what they're asking for, give it away. You have to realize the people who mug you are not in the right mental state. So they do not care or they do not differentiate between your passport or between your phone or between your wallet. For them, it looks like a valuable thing. Just give it to them. You can always get your passport later. There are procedures to do that. You can always get your phone, your credit card, your driver's license, everything later. Do not argue at that time. I've, I've heard stories of people want, trying to argue to muggers about can I keep this, can I keep that, and they get agitated and they might harm you. Do please, 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 if you watch, if you're, please, 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 if you're watching this video and if some incident like that happens to you, God forbid it should not happen in the first place, but if it happens to you, give whatever they ask for, give it to them. Next thing you need to do is always keep a 10 or a $20 bill in your wallet because when these people come to mug you and they find your wallet is empty, they might be pissed off. But if they find 10 or $20, they might be satisfied and they'll leave you and they'll go away from there. So always, always keep some little denomination of cash reserved just in case something bad happens to you. Another thing I want to share is sometimes taking that Uber or that taxi even for half a mile or a mile might be worth it if the area is totally unsafe. Let, let me share with you guys a story. Uh, I was in downtown Chicago and I parked my car near the red line station. Now the red line goes to south side Chicago which is not that nice of an area. And I did not realize that while parking my car that why is the street so empty while all the other streets are full with cars and I cannot find any parking. Turns out to be that area is extremely unsafe after a certain hour and night. So when I came back around midnight to go grab my car, everyone told me to not walk to that area. Absolutely do not walk to that area. So what I had to do is I had to get an Uber for like third of a mile 
which is very very short distance but then I had to make the Uber driver wait there till I get into my car. I start my car and I get out of there so that both of us, like with all the lights and everything, get out of there safely. I have I have had incidents where I felt unsafe, but nothing bad has happened to me because I was smart about that situation. I called an Uber and I made that guy wait on me while I get into my car and get out of there. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. The purpose of this video is not to scare you guys, but to equip you guys with how to deal with such situations when they come up. Because who knows when they are going to come up. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Stay safe and be careful.